To getting those DNA results back ASAP. Please let them prove that Stacy wasn't really the donor that saved Shane's life. So that we can save Stacy from herself. Shane! Honey, I thought you and Danny were having a sleepover. Are you feeling okay? Yeah, but I got bored, so his mom drove me home. Are you sure that's it? Why? What's the problem? Are you planning on having a sleepover of your own with this guy? Doria. Hi. <laughs> I didn't know when you'd be getting back home, but I had Mo make a very special meal so that you can relax, regroup, and... Uh, begin the day tomorrow with renewed vigor. Wow. My apologies. But I won't be staying for dinner. There she is. Home sweet home. Dad? Yes, sir? How long is the naked lady going to be staying with us? Hey. Hopefully it'll just be a few hey. days. Hey! What? Her name is Taya, Jack. Not naked lady. And she's going to stay here as long as it takes to get back on her feet. I'll be Understand? fine, Todd. Yes, you're going to be I... fine. But you're going to stay here until you're all better. As long as that takes. End of discussion. What is this? <laughs> is your med school diploma? Yeah. Yeah, I've been talking to the medical board about, you know, renewing my license. That's great. Now that my memories are back, I want to get back everything that I lost. Look, I'm serious. I need you to be my husband now more than ever. You know, I thought that Todd would be decent. But guess what? Now he took Jack and Sam over to his house. You're kidding. No, I wish. It's everything I could do to keep him from taking Star. But, you know, I can fight him back now. I mean, I'm back on my feet, I'm strong, and, and you were clear, so if we go back to court as a married couple, I've... What's wrong, John? I'm sorry, I can't be your husband anymore. out of line. What kind of friend is he? Is he a friend like Marcy or a friend like Brody? I don't appreciate your tone. I already answered your question. You know what? Um, maybe I should get out of here. No, don't. This isn't about you. Sweetie, Skyler was hungry and I invited him to stay for dinner. He's a guest in our home and I expect you to treat him with respect. Like the respect you showed Dad? Excuse me? You don't care about anyone anymore. Just yourself. That is not true. Hey, Shane, um... You gotta know, man. Your, your mom would do anything for you. How would you know what my mom would do? Uh, hey, wet t-shirt coming off. Might want to warn a guy. Oh, gosh, what was I thinking? I must be really comfortable with you. Well, figures. You wouldn't be self-conscious being a stripper and all. Oh. No, no I, I didn't I mean that as a put-down, really. It, Actually, it's kind of cool. What? Having a stripper crash with you? Oh, hanging out with a girl who's not hung up in how she looks. Oh, I totally used to be hung up. 
Like, really bad, all through high school. I was a dog. No, you weren't yes, a dog. Yes, I was, and how would you know? You didn't even notice me. I don't know, maybe it was a blessing you didn't even know I was there. I, I looked terrible. Well, I hope you don't feel like that now, right? I mean, I can't imagine anyone not wanting to look at you. I don't really care if anyone in the world wants to look at me as long as there's that one person. Mom, if anyone deserves to get their life back, it's you. Thanks. But you know, all of that can be put on hold if you need me. Mom, I know how much you love me, and I know that you do anything for me, but if you put your life on hold right now for me, I couldn't take it. You know, losing my baby. Like, I, I just, I just have to get through it. And I will get through it without, without using. I know. I'm proud of you, you know that. You're one of the bravest, strongest men I know. Huh. Hmm. I'm not getting I'm going to your graduation tomorrow. Oh. Yeah, I'm not going. Why? Why? The school board said that you could walk with your class. Yeah, but it, it would just all be for show. I mean, uh, all the other kids would be getting a real diploma, and I would be getting a empty folder. So what's the point? Well, you spent three years with these people. I mean, that well, it's got to mean something. You know, I, I won't graduate until I finish summer school. So why go tomorrow? You know, and, and, and all those kids that I haven't seen for months will, will be staring at me, you know, whispering about me. It, it's, you know, the... The teenage dad, the, the, the one who put Matthew Buchanan in a wheelchair. What about the people that, uh, who know who you really are? That never stop caring about you. How are they supposed to feel? I told you to go clear your name and come back to me. And you left me with that promise and a, a really hot kiss. Well, it's changed since then. Yeah, it has. I'll stay married with you until you get your kids back, but... What? I can't be a husband to you the way either of us thought I could be. Because of Marty? Yeah, it's Marty. And Todd. Todd? Yes? I appreciate what you're doing for me, but you don't have to turn your house upside down. That's the least I can do after everything you've done for me. Uh, like representing Blair against you in the custody hearing? Oh, well, don't worry about it. I got overturned and my kids are with me now, so... Blair's gonna go back to Cora, you can bet on it. <clears throat> She's physically capable of taking care of her kids now, and Joan's practically a hero. But none of that is going to matter, right? After you tell the judge that their marriage is bogus. There's something wrong. What happened to Lola? No, no, well... Lola, nothing, nothing more, but she's a profoundly disturbed child. So much more so than I ever imagined. Of course. And you want to spend as much time with her as you possibly can. So, I'll just get Mo to pack up the food and we'll take it to St. Anne's I'm and dine there. I'm afraid that that's not going to work. I, I do have to... Return to St. Anne's, but only to complete the uh, paperwork for Lola's transfer. Her transfer? Yes, I've chosen to move her to another facility. It's a, it's a place that's far from Landview. That must be very difficult for you to, to have to be separated from her. But that's not the difficult part. Because I will be going with Lola. <sighs> Should have known. Should have known. All this was just a ploy <laughs> to force me to help you keep Blair from getting the kids back, of course. <laughs> is that really what you think I want from you? Yes, <laughs> it really is. And don't try to deny it. Okay, I won't. But that's only part of it. Oh, sure. You bring me here for a reason, and you keep me here for the benefits. <laughs> oh, well, I, 
I was like, ow. I don't think you're going to be up for the benefits for some time. You're pretty banged up. Oh, but not too banged up to tell a judge that Blair and John's marriage is a fraud and that the whole thing was my idea. Oh, yes. Mm, mm, mm. And, and so out of it, apparently, that you think I'd risk Blair coming after me with both barrels? What can she do to you? Tell that same judge that I was sleeping with you while I was representing her. Oh, come on. I have no desire to be fined and or disbarred. No one can prove anything we did in private. If it's the reason you want me here, you might as well throw me out right now. It's not the reason I want you here. I didn't know where to put her bags, in the guest room or in your room. You know what we had, it was always kind of chaotic. How many times did you tell me it was over? But we always seem to find our way back, you know? Because there's always something there. There always was. There is. But there's more of you. When I found Marty, she was in trouble. Her son was in trouble. Shocking. You know, you accused me of not always being honest, and maybe you're right. Maybe I wasn't honest with myself, but now there's some things that need to be said. You know, for a man who really doesn't like to talk, why are you choosing now? Because it's important. Before Marty got her memory back, she didn't know me. She wasn't the person that I knew. And now that it's come back. Including her feelings for you. People like to gossip. They like to judge, and it's not fair. But I think you might be able to put a stop to that if you get up there tomorrow and show them that you're not hiding it. You're not hiding what you've done. You know, Mom, I, I wish you, you would stop trying to put a positive spin on everything. I mean... I messed up. I messed up. I, 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 I got started pregnant. I did what I did to Matthew. And I'm just trying to make things right the best way I can. Oh, well, what, do you, what do you think life is all about? What do you think growing up is about? Do you think you start doing everything right the day you're born until the day you die? No, but... No, no. It's about being tested. And you've, you've been tested more than anyone your age should be. And, and you've made mistakes, okay, but you're learning from them. And you know what? <laughs> Whether you put on a cap and gown tomorrow or not, I don't care. I'm very proud of you. But I think, I think you should show everyone how proud you are of yourself. So that's what this is about, is... Marty, she wants to pick up where the two of you left off. What about you? Do you want to pick up with Marty? Where you left off with her? You're leaving? What choice do I have? My... My daughter... Her life is a crisis now. She needs uh, a facility that specializes in psychological disorders, severe, severe disorders in adolescence. Of course. And she deserves the very best care possible. That's why I, I got these uh, brochures. Um, this facility is not far from Landview, and they specialize in treating adolescents at risk. Yeah, uh, Lola's doctor at St. Anne's has informed me of this place. I'm confused. It's, it's too close to Landview. There has been too much pain. For Lola here, pain uh, she has suffered and pain she has caused for others. She, need, she needs to get away. What she needs desperately is to start over somewhere else.
And what about what her father needs? So how does it work? Did you just get on stage or some guy's lap and become their fantasy? Well, when a guy walks into a strip club, it doesn't exactly take rocket science to figure out what his fantasy is. I, I guess what I'm asking is, did you like it? You know, Rex, most of my life I was broke and I felt ugly, so I found myself in this world where people just threw gobs of money at you to, to stare at you like you're the hottest thing ever. So, I mean, yeah, I loved it. Not every minute of it. At least in the beginning. And then? And then one day I realized I was knocking back like three or four shots of tequila just to get on stage. So you quit? No. I quit two and a half years from that day. How'd you get through it? Did Skylar give you drugs? Oh, no, I never used. The strongest thing I've ever taken is an aspirin and my little tequila shots. And one of the girls, Amber, she, uh, she told me to make up my own story. What kind of story? I wanted some cute guy with a sweet face to just show up outside my dressing room door after the show and tell me, Stacy, you're too good for this life. I'm going to take you out of here. Did Skylar ever tell you that? No, Skylar wasn't perfect. But, you know, he showed me that I was beautiful all on my own. Well, I'm glad you could start to feel better about yourself. Because you really are a good person. You saved my son's life. And I know that's the only reason why you gave me the money for Stan. And I promise I'll pay you back. Okay, no, you let Skyler pay me back. He's the one who ripped you off. No, this one's on me, okay? I'll get a job and I'll pay you some every month. It's just the job, that's the thing. I can't do what I was doing before. I can't take my clothes off for money. I can't. You know, because of you. Apologize to Skylar now. What? You heard me. Oh, it's okay. No, it's not. Apologize. Sorry! Okay, that is it. Time out for you, buddy. No games, no phone calls, no nothing. If it's not homework, you're not doing it. And leave your door open! You can hate me all you want, but I'm still your mother. I'm your son, and, and, and that makes me proud. Mm. <laughs> you know, uh, I've had to deal with my share of people's stares and comments. And it's not easy. Especially when you're already having a hard time. But when I did stand up, oh, I felt good. Okay. Okay. I will stand up there tomorrow and receive my fake, well, no, empty folder. And, uh, but you know, I promise, in, in, in a couple months from now, there will be a diploma in there. So, just search the crowd tomorrow for the people who will be rooting for you. I'm, I'm assuming I'm not going to be the only one sitting out there looking at you and thinking maybe you and Star. Well, I mean, you can't go through what we went through, you know, giving the baby away and, and, and not get closer. But like you and Rachel both said, I need to concentrate on my recovery right now. Sure. So, friendship is pretty much all I can handle. Okay. So anyway, what about you? <laughs> what about me? Well, you said that uh, you wanted to get uh, everything back that you lost. Does that include John McBain? Uh -huh. Can't just make this about Marty. Why not, John? Come on, it's the truth. The truth is we both know we're probably not the ones for each other. We started out as friends. Am I the 
the only one that thought that we had something good. Oh yeah, it was really good. But there was always something that stopped us from getting closer. And it wasn't just Marty. I think if you're being honest, it was Todd too. You're right. Why do you want to stay in the guest room? Have you been listening to a word I've been saying? You could be jeopardizing your custody of the kids just by having me under this roof. Are you seriously trying to tell me that someone is going to... No. It's not the real reason. I'm not, um, I'm not ready to stay in your room. Well, because you think that we're gonna... <laughs> I, I, I think we've been over this, right? We have. On the floor, on that floor right over there. On the desk. In yeah. the courthouse. Yes, I remember. In my bed. But here, with your children living under the same roof, it's too intimate. I'm not ready for that. Too intimate? Wow. I never thought that would be a problem. Well, it wouldn't be for me if it weren't for you. Uh, you think you know everything, don't you, Delgado? Well, then, fill me in, Todd. Are you willing to say that you're ready for a relationship with me? Did it bother you that I asked you to fill in at Jared's bachelor party? If it hurt your feelings, no. I just want to say that... No, it didn't. Look, I'm not ashamed of anything I've done. It's just... Being a kid's hard enough without getting cracked on what your aunt does. Oh, there you go. Putting Shane ahead of everything. You, it's just I, it's the truth. I just gotta figure out what I'm good at. Well, didn't you want to be a dancer? Oh, yeah. That's my dream, to dance and travel the world. Only if you haven't been picked up by a big dance company by the time you're 20, you're out of luck. Although, yeah, I could... No. What? Well, I could teach people what I've learned. I kind of always thought I'd be a good instructor, but... Unless you're teaching somebody like me, that is. Oh, come on. No, I mean it. I... <laughs> Adriana took us to a class before our wedding. I flunked Foxtrot. I was completely hopeless. <laughs> you just had the wrong instructor. Maybe it's just the wrong partner. My needs are not important right now. I'm going to put my daughter first. How's it putting your daughter first to take her away from her family? Langston is her cousin. And look what Lola tried to do to her. It's obvious that Lola, it's, it's not helpful for her to be here. It, she's never going to get well. She's never going to heal uh, 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 unless she faces what she's done. It's true, but that is going to take time. And what about Langston? You and Lola are her only two living blood relatives. She only just started to connect with you. I know, I know. I love Langston, you know I do. She's all I have left of my sister. I hold her deep in my heart. I'm going to miss her. And I'm going to miss you so much. But I cannot be distracted right now. That's what I am in all this? A distraction? Dorian. I never expected to feel what I feel for you. You've been my only light. But while I was pursuing you, I could not see my own daughter coming to pieces. I failed her. And she must be my focus now. I'm gonna show up tomorrow with a camera fully charged to take a zillion pictures of my only son at his high school graduation. You know, a few months ago, in my wildest dreams, I n never thought that you'd be at my graduation. Mm. So I know how lucky I am. 
Why wouldn't I want to start something with you? Not something, a relationship. Tomato, tomato. A Saybrook Delgado. <laughs> you and Blair are just obsessed with Marty. Yeah, because you are. Oh, God. Staying in the very same suite where she was staying. Where you two fell in love. Where you planned a life together. Oh. Remember that, Todd? Yes, I remember it. Blair just kicked me out. I had lost my kids and I wasn't in my right mind. But you still felt what you felt and you called it love. Yeah. But it's changed because when Marty and I were left alone at that KED house, we had a little closure. And so now when I think about her or see her, I feel different. Okay. I actually believe you. What about Blair? Blair? Kidding. Do I look like I'm kidding? She's the mother of my kids. Big deal. A perennial excuse. <clears throat> well, plus, she hates my guts right now, so... Todd Manning is... was... and will always be... the love of my life. is a part of me that I just, I wish that I could shake. I don't want to feel anything for that man, but we have kids together, John, and we constantly are being pushed together. I wish I could have. God cured me of my sickness. You're starting to. You were. And. I thought that, um. I thought that it could have worked with us. God, you know what I wish? I wish that we could just. Or I could go back to when I hated Todd for hurting Star. <laughs> Marty was still dead. We can't. I know. I know we can't. No. Which is why when the custody is settled, the marriage is over. <laughs> Unless you don't want to stay married no. to me after all the no. horrible Look. things I just said to you. No. Look, we... We got married for the sake of the children. And John, if you're just willing to hang in with me until then... Good man, John Payton. And I'm, I'm really sorry this, this didn't work out. Well, you know, you got me to wear a wine print shirt. And <laughs> Neither will I. So, um, this is. Hey, I'm I'm really sorry. I mean, like me being here is obviously upsetting for Shane. And uh... Skyler, it doesn't have anything to do with you. My son, well, you heard him. He just hates my guts right now. Yeah. Well, my mom and I went through a few rough patches. So. Really? Did you ever think she was a slut that cheated on your dad and wrecked her life? Uh, no. No, but there were times when I, like, really was angry at the world, you know, and I would just take it out on her. Maybe that's what Shane's doing right now, you know? Why do you have to get leukemia? Why couldn't his mom prevent that? But deep down, he knows that his mom always cared about him just like I did. He thinks I let him down. He thinks... I can't be trusted. Yeah, which is a lie, by the way. A lie that you've been forced to let him believe to save his life. The truth is going to come out. He's going to come around. Yeah. I know Shane is a great kid. And I love him with all of my heart and soul. Just... It breaks my heart to know that he hates me for what I did. Especially when I didn't do it. <laughs> it was unexpected. 
And even though it was brief, it has been truly beautiful. At least that's, uh, that's how I will remember it. I hope that you can recall it fondly as well. You're crazy. Blair can't stand me. Anyway, it doesn't matter. I don't want her. What do you want? I want to. <sighs> That's the most honest thing you haven't said all night. Till you can answer that question, I'll be staying in the guest room. Uh. Cole, you know you can't afford to miss this group, yeah? <sighs> really is time for me to go. Thank you for the lasagna and the milk and cookies. Awesome. <laughs> By the way, things are going to work out with Shane. I hope so. He hates me for ruining things with Rex, and I don't blame him. So wish I could tell him that Brody and I never slept together. fun. See? You're not so hopeless after all. You know, if you're serious about teaching, you could use ultraviolet in the afternoons when nobody's there. Really? <laughs> That'd be perfect. Oh. Well, I should, I should turn in. Um, you're okay now, right? You're not still having pains where yeah. Stan hit you? No, I'm fine. Okay. I'm gonna go back to Shane's room. Good night. Good night. Rex! Thanks for everything. to talk to you. I will never forget you. I don't think you will. Before the accident. Hey, so do I. Why do I get the feeling there's a catch? I'm married to Blair until she gets custody of the kids again. 
and we agreed to have the marriage dissolved. I don't know exactly how long that will take, but... Well, I, I waited two years for this chance. I think it's probably enough knowing that we both want the same thing.